Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly reading for the 12th to the 19th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what is going on for you all this week. We do have Mercury retrograde. We also have the full moon happening on the 19th. And on the 14th, we actually have what one could call one of the most intense astrological transits of the, um, of the year. Mars Jupiter conjunction happening in Gemini. All right. So just be aware, uh, be cautious, mark down those days. Okay. Pay attention to your surroundings, especially on the 14th. Okay. Because people will probably be acting a little bit crazy. Oh my God. I feel like I have, there it was. I was like, I feel like I have a hair anyways. Okay. Thanks for your patience. Um, with my glasses. I know some of you say that it reflects the eyes. I've been editing a video that I'm uploading on YouTube this weekend all day. So I have eyeball fatigue. Okay, let's dive into your, to your reading here. We have patience showing up as your mantra and it says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. To be really honest with you, this week's actually looking very, very fantastic. We are on the tail end of your season, Leo. Happy birthday, FYI. We are getting ready and moving closer and closer to Virgo season, right? We have Saturn here showing up as your astrology card. Okay, let's talk about Saturn for a minute because Saturn has been in Pisces and um, and will be having a hard aspect to Jupiter on the 14th. Saturn is restriction. Saturn is discipline. Saturn is sacrifice. Saturn, is, we consider daddy because Saturn wants us to do the hard work and not really see any reward until the tail end. So this is like when you, you know, make lots of sacrifices. You can't go out, you can't buy clothes, you can't do all this stuff because you're saving money and you don't really see for the next two years until like the payoff comes through. Do you get what I'm saying? That's Saturn energy. And with the, uh, the I'm done defensive list, writing past wrongs are brooding here. I almost get this energy here that this week you're learning a really, really crucial lesson in regards to healing your heart chakra, healing yourself, healing your energy, forgiving other people for what they have done and learning how to move on from the pain and the suffering that they have caused you. I think there is a person in your life who maybe uh, caused a lot of strife and hardship. And what's happening here with your tarot cards, and I'm going to show them to you in a minute, is a journey of you acknowledging and recognizing how this pain that you experienced at the hands of this person caused a lot of hardship for you. It caused a lot of pain. It caused a lot of suffering. For some of you, this may have even like stunted your emotional growth or your capacity to have relationships that were healthy or your self-worth, your self-confidence. You get what I'm saying? Like there's a lot here showing up. With the star card here showing up, it says, this card is all about healing. This card is all about going to the other realm. Uh, the ibis, which is a little bird that's right here, is indicative of going to the other side, receiving the sacred messages from the other side. And this card in itself is actually the star in the divine realms, not on, not on this side not on this 3D side, okay? And so you are learning what it means to go inward, to go to the divine realm and heal yourself. With the five of cups and the page of cups, there's naturally a lot of emotions that are showing up this week for you. I almost wanna say that it's like um, purging, maybe even cathartic to a degree. You might even be feeling like, oh, I can finally release this. There might be a lot of tear shedding, okay? There might be a lot of, um, acknowledgement and recognition as to what has happened in your life and the path that it's led you on and how you can now take control of your life and redirect yourself to the path that you are seeking um, to, to be a part of, right? So like if you're single, how do you get into a healthy relationship? If you're in a toxic marriage, how do you have the courage to walk away? You get what I'm saying? Like it is a progression here in your life. With the two of swords here showing up in the death card, there is an acknowledgement and a recognition here that you cannot avoid the truth anymore. You cannot pretend like this isn't happening or this didn't happen or this isn't affecting you or this doesn't play a pivotal role in your life. What is the purpose? What is the reason? You're diving deep into the wounds here, the limiting beliefs, the stuckness energy that has been festering inside. Maybe some of you, it's even manifesting shoulder pain, back pain, stomach pain, leg pain. Do you get what I'm saying? Whenever we have pain anywhere in the body, it is an indication of, of a stuck trauma, okay? And then what's really beautiful here and um, 
what's, what I'm actually seeing as something really, really special here is that you wrap up this week with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups. So an acknowledgement of the pain, the suffering, the challenges, and a recognition of how you can move forward from that pain. What can you do? Um, how can you celebrate? How can you rejoice? How can you switch the story around? You know, before I dive into your love reading, first, you got Ishel as your amulet. I'm actually wearing Ishel right now. Ishel is all about joy, optimism, happiness. You can pick her up at Starcy Jewels in the description box below. But above that, okay, um, this energy here that's showing up for you is your ability to transmute your pain into your superpower. It's, re it's really, really, really beautiful. And I know that there might be moments this week where you're feeling a little bit of pain or sadness. And I want you to know that it's okay for you to feel that. And it's also okay and safe for you to release that. All right, let's dive into your love reading here, Leo. If you want to book a session with me, you want to work with me in any capacity, follow me on Insta, all that jazz. It's in the description box below, okay? We've got the Empress. We've got the Ace of Wands. We've got the Queen of Wands, yeah. This is you coming back into your power. I think a lot of you are recognizing and realizing your self-worth, your self-value, the self-respect, the dignity that you deserve, you know, Leo? Like, all that energy here is really showing up. Emperor, Empress, beautiful. Even some of you, I think that you're going after after your heart's desire, you're willing to um, maybe take a risk, a leap of faith here and go after your divine partner or seek a divine partnership. Maybe you're acknowledging and seeing that you haven't been in the right relationships, like you haven't been with the right people. You know, with the three of wands and the queen of wands, it's like you're going out and putting yourself out there. You're not afraid to be seen. You're not afraid to mingle. You're not afraid to like connect and chat with people. With the two of swords and the ace of wands, what I'm seeing here is you, um, you know, having a willingness to build relationships, to build friendships, to purge the story from the past, rewrite your story. You know, this is something I teach my students a lot. It's about rewriting your story. And when you rewrite your story, you're able to manifest your dream life. You're able to get that clarity, that confidence, so that you can experience the freedom, the fulfillment, the happiness, the peace, the ease, the bliss, he's the bliss that you are seeking okay so i love this for you because i think that even though this isn't like a wow kind of reading this is a reading that like really hits hits here you know it hits here and this heals and man you start shining out brighter than ever baby just in time to wrap up leo season i'm gonna pop this video here to help you out if you want to book a session you want to work with me in any capacity take a look at the description box below thank you for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes we will see you later alligators peace out bye